here, the Frugal Crafter, and we are in Die Cut Land for today's tutorial. And I'm super duper excited because I was looking through one of my favorite scrapbooking and crafting catalogs. I'm not gonna tell you which one because I don't want to get kicked off the mailing list. Um, I always get lots of good ideas and sometimes I make an order, but what I saw was these dies that make a flippy card. But they were $30. $30, people! That's way too much for a die that you're not going to use that often. So I thought, you know, I bet there's a way I can make a jig so I can make a flippy card using the dies I already have. I don't have a lot of thin dies, but the ones I do have are ones that I generally would just use for pa cutting paper, like cardstock, like a card base. Um, so. And I also store my dies like a lot of fellow crafters do. I take magnet sheets and stick them in a binder. And seriously, this is, <laughs> this is all I have. I have a couple. Um, I only have a couple sets. Um, so I have circles and I have a couple fancy label sets that I got, you know, on clearance for like 10 bucks or something. So they work. And this is a really fun idea. And I think you're going to like it because you're going to get the look of a $30 die for st stuff you already have for $0. I love zero dollars. That's my favorite price is zero dollars. <laughs> I'm just feeling crazy silly today. Um, all right, so what I did, and I think I'm going to zoom in to my die cut machine there because you really need to see that, not my me flapping my gums to learn this project. There we go. Um, so what I did is I took a, a sheet of magnet, just like we used to store our dies, and <laughs> I was thinking, well, I need to make I need to make some sort of jig so that I can put pressure on two parts on the edges of my die cut, but leave the middle connected so that I would have that swivel part. So I was trying to think, what am I going to use? And I figured, well, I'll use some cereal box or something. And then my kids were playing with their Pokemon cards, and there were some Bakugan cards in there that were actually um, steel on the inside. They were um, not not. Uh, magnetic, but they were steel, so they would stick to this sheet of magnet. And I really love this idea because I could pull them apart more if I wanted to have a bigger swivel in the middle, or put them together more if I wanted a tiny swivel. So I have them about three quarters of an inch apart here. I try to keep them as parallel as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're just going to set your die face up on top like that. So on in my die cut, I have the platform, a cutting pad, then it goes my fancy um, my fancy jig here doing the spin card jig and then I'm gonna put my die facing up and then I've got a half sheet of cardstock here and with this half sheet after you're done cutting this you can decide whether you want to have an A2 size card or 5 by 7 card size card so you don't have to commit to that yet just this is five and a half by eight and a half and just a half sheet of your regular old cardstock putting that on top and then I'm gonna put the cutting pad on top of that and crank her through so very exciting. And at this point, I hope I, you know, put my die facing up, facing the, the blades facing up. All right, check this out. Look at that. It's cut on the outsides, but not on the inside. Oh, geez, could help if I put it in front of the camera, I guess. Cut on the outside, not on the inside. Good grief. Yes, I'm over on the other side of the room, all, all out, of, out of whack here. All right, now I am going to move my camera over to my scoring board and zoom out a little bit and try not to lose my dies in the process so I hope you can see my scoring board there and less of me and more of that hopefully there we go and there we are hello people <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is um I don't want my glasses on either this is good luck Lindsay um I'm gonna score um, on either side of my cut. I'm actually going to score. I'm scoring here. I got my first score done. Let me show you. So I've scored, good grief. Um, I've scored here up to the die cut, then from the die cut down, right on the edge of where that cut was. All right, so we're going to do this on the other side as well. I don't want my hair to be in the way. I want you to see that as much as you can. It's actually pretty easy. All right. So there, this is what we have. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is fold one on one score. I'm going to fold it valley mountain ways, and the other way I'm going to fold it valley ways. So you end up with this. Bloop, 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 bloop. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Zoom out again. That's a little too much Lindsay right there. <laughs> oh my husband. We 
you were watching, I want to see what one of my videos looked like on the TV because usually I just watch it on my computer. And, uh, and I was talking to him and I'm on the TV. He goes, this is just too much, Lindsay. I can't take it. He says, too much you right now. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. So I want to show you this other, other tip really quick. You know, it's only five minutes. I feel like it. You probably, it probably feels a lot longer to you too. I'm thinking, wow, I've been talking 10 minutes here. Um, so here, I got my little card here and just kind of played with a little decorating. What I did was I made an envelope with my create a lope template because they're so quick and I love it. And then you always have some leftover, right? So then I took the leftover piece and I die cut with a smaller die. You know how they come in like little kits? Of course you do because I'm like the <laughs> clueless thin die person. You know, these come in a set of like five. <laughs> Anyway, you take the smaller one and it will fit inside the bigger one like they nest together or something. <laughs> Good grief. So what I did was I just uh, cut a couple of those papers a little bit smaller so I could mat them in there and then I took some scraps and put them on the edge. And um, so when you put it together, you can actually put it in an A2 envelope, which I have right here. So that's my other tip would be to make your envelope, save the scraps, and decorate your cards. So really, this is quite an affordable card you can make with supplies you already have. And if you're thinking, well, Lindsay, thank you for showing me that, but I don't have a die cutter. Because <laughs> I know I'll get a comment like that. Simply take your card, drop your thing on the floor, take your card, your, your half a sheet of cardstock, and um, draw a set of parallel lines, three quarters of an inch apart, um, like down the middle. Then trace any template, any shape you want, over that those lines and then score up to the up to the little template up to the little shape you draw you drew on each end and then just cut out with a craft knife so you can totally do that even if you don't have a fancy die cutting machine like that's fancy <laughs> what else can i say there's my video for today how to make a flip card jig using crap from around the house thank you very much Thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Share it with your friends on Pinterest, wherever. Sharing is caring. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.